Today we're going to translate what we've learned about Monet to a clay tile. You're going to start with a slab that's shaped like a rectangle, and you're going to make a smaller rectangular square inside to turn it into a frame. I'm just using a toothpick here to draw. If my toothpick gets clay, I wipe it off with my finger. Now I'm going to stamp texture around my frame. I'm just using different objects to create different designs. When I do this, I wanna be careful not to press too hard. If I press really hard, I cut right through the clay, and I definitely don't want that to happen. I just wanna have some cool patterns and designs to be in a frame around my water lilies. I can take my toothpick and poke little designs or even draw little lines. I can almost use it like a pencil to incise or carve into my clay. When I'm using clay, this is called subtractive. It's a subtractive process because I'm actually taking some of the clay off of the surface. And that's why I need to wipe it off the toothpick every now and then. Now I'm going to create my water lily drawing inside of the frame. I'm gonna start by making a bridge. We didn't do a bridge in our last lesson, and I think I'd like to on this tile here. It's just two curved lines, and then I'm going to make straight lines in between those two curved lines to represent the railing on the bridge. Now I'm going to make a horizon line that's actually wavy because it's representing water. I'm gonna make little waves to show the movement of the water. If I want to add other details like a sun or a moon peeking out, I can definitely do that. Now I'm going to use the additive method of clay to create little lily pads. I'm rolling a ball and then I'm just smushing it. I'm going to take my toothpick and cut a little line right in that. Now he looks like Pac-Man. I'm going to use a toothbrush to score my clay. That means just to add texture and it makes it stick. It's almost like the glue for clay. So again, I'm gonna roll a little ball, then I'm gonna go smoosh like a pancake, and then I'm gonna take that toothpick and cut a little line into that oval, and that turns it into Pac-Man, or a lily pad in this case. Then I'm going to score my clay with that toothbrush, and I'm gonna score the surface I'm attaching to. And then I'm just gently pressing. Now I can make lines in my clay to show the texture of the lily pads, maybe some leaf lines. That is more than welcome. But again, rolling the ball, smushing line. And then I'm going to score and slip that to attach it to the tile itself. Now once these are dry, they'll go in the kiln and then we will add color. But for now, we're gonna pause and come back to these later.